Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a number puzzle. It says Mr. Bhupendra Jogi claims to have visited many cities in US. Unfortunately, he cannot name any of them. To prove that he went to US, he showed his passport which contains an 8 digit number. The following facts are given about the number. And it is given that all the digits mentioned above are from left side. So you have to count from the left side that this is the first digit, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth. Okay, so this is the first one to start from. It says in the number none of the digits is used more than two times. So we will use this information later. The number formed by the fourth and fifth digits is an even number. One, two, three, four and fifth. So these two digits form an even number. So this means that the fifth digit is going to be an even number. Okay. The sum of the two digit numbers formed by the third and the fourth digits and the fifth and sixth digits. So when we add these two numbers, the prod is a product of two consecutive natural numbers. So these the sum of these numbers and these numbers is a product of two consecutive natural numbers. Okay. The number formed by the second and the third digits is a perfect square. So this is a perfect square. This plus this is n n plus 1. Okay. The number formed by the first and the second digits is the square of the number formed by the seventh and eighth digits. So we have two digits here, seventh and eighth, and this is a square of those. So again, a perfect square. Okay. Now, one thing that we can use here is, see, if we have a two digit number, let us say we take 10, 10 square is 100. So, as soon as we take a two digit number, the square is three digits or more, okay, three or four digits depending on the number. Now, this means that the last two digits can be a, uh, cannot be a two digit number. So, this means the seventh digit is going to be zero, okay, seven digit is zero. So, it has to be a single digit number, hence its square is going to be a two digit number. Okay, so uh, this is what we get. This is a perfect square. The number formed by the third and the fourth digits is a product of two consecutive natural numbers. Now, this is also of the form n n plus 1. And this also is of that same form, right? So, let us first do is we will write out all the numbers that are product of two consecutive numbers okay and uh, the number formed by third and fourth digit is six less than the number formed by fifth and sixth digits right so this is let us say the third and fourth digit number is uh, n then this is n plus six all the, that is all information that we have so the very crucial thing is to find the product of two consecutive natural numbers that will help us solve this problem. So let's take uh, 1 and 2. The product is 2. Okay, so 0, 2 could be a number. Then if we take 2 and 3, the number is going to be 0, 6. Okay, then if we take 3 and 4, then it is going to be 12. Okay, similarly, 4 into 5 is 20, 5 into 6, 30. Uh, then uh, uh, 5 into 6, 30, 6 into 7, 42. Okay. Then 7 uh, into 8, 56. Then 8 into 9, 72. And 9 into 10, 90. Okay. Now these are two digit numbers. So we cannot exceed 90. Right. If you take 10 into 11, 9 into 10, 90, 10 into 11 is 110. So we cannot accept this. So the number has to be one out of these. So this number can be one out of these right so this will be n that we call third and fourth digit so fifth and sixth digits this is third and fourth so this means fifth and sixth digits have to be one out of these like six add like zero eight one two and then we have one eight twenty six then we have thirty six 48, 62, 78 or 96, right? Now we know that fifth digit is even. 
सो वी कैन एलिमिनेट द ऑड पॉसिबिलिटीज ठीक है ये एलिमिनेट हो जाएगा देन दिस कैन बी एलिमिनेटेड दिस कैन बी एलिमिनेटेड दिस कैन बी एलिमिनेटेड दिस कैन बी एलिमिनेटेड राइट नाउ अनदर थिंग दिस स्टेटमेंट द थर्ड स्टेटमेंट इट सेज द सम ऑफ द नंबर फॉर्म बाई थर्ड एंड फोर्थ डिजिट प्लस फिफ्थ एंड सिक्स डिजिट सो वी नीड टू एड दीज दिस इज टेन दिस इज फोर्टी सिक्स दिस इज नाइनटी दिस इज वन वन एट right so only 90 fulfills this criteria that 90 is again a product of two consecutive numbers so this is the big thing that we had to figure out in this question now we know these four digits so these four digits are 4 2 and 4 8 okay so now this satisfies all these things product of two consecutive numbers 6 and 7 sum that is 90 is 9 into 10 Okay, six more than this number that is also satisfied. This condition also satisfied. Uh, this condition also satisfied. This condition also satisfied. So these things are satisfied. Now we need to satisfy these conditions. These uh, three conditions are left, right? Now it says that this is a perfect square. Second and third digit is a perfect square. Also, first and second digit also has to be a perfect square of this number. This can be a square of any number. Okay. Now, if a number is ending in four, okay. Now, how can a number ending in four be a square? Either it will be zero four or it will be sixty four. Okay. So, if we take zero four, then what happens? We cannot get a perfect square ending in zero. Like uh, we need to have uh, two zeros. Okay, then only it can be a perfect square. Okay, because odd number of zeros is not a perfect square. So if you make it zero zero, it will also be zero. It says none of the digits is used more than two times. So we cannot have this as zero. So zero four is not possible. Then means it has to be sixty four. Okay. Now sixty four. This means that this digit. Now we have, this should be a perfect square of this number. So this means that. Either it will be sixteen or it will be thirty-six. What if we make it sixteen? If we make it sixteen, then this will be four. So if we make it four, now let us check this condition. It says none of the digits is used more than two times. See, we see four is used three times. So again, this is not sixteen. This is not sixteen. Then the only possibility left is thirty-six. If this is thirty-six, then the last digit has to be six. So his passport number is three six. Four two four eight zero six. So that is the number. Last digit of the number is six. Sum of the digits of his passport number. So this is nine, thirteen, fifteen, nineteen, nineteen plus fourteen. That is thirty-three. Okay. Which of the following digits is not present in the number? We have three, four, six, two, two, four, six are present. Five is not present. How many digits used in the number are odd? So we have just one odd digit, which is three. So one odd digit. Don't mark three as type three as the answer. Which digit is at the sixth position from the right end? So this is the right end. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the digit is four. So this was a solution to the set and the answers to the questions.